Hello guys, welcome back to another video about uploading avatars on VRChat. I did a video like this once, but VRChat updated their programs a little bit, their SDK and Unity and everything like that. So this is an updated video. We're gonna be a bit quicker than last time, so make sure to follow and focus. I have a folder right here, everything you need. I will include that folder in the description. And that folder are is basically literally everything you need. You have um, Unity and your Blender and the plugins that you will need for uploading. And uh, shaders, so your avatar doesn't look like shit. As soon as you download that uh, folder, you want to create a new a new folder and that folder will be just called uh, unity stuff call it whatever you want I'll call it unity stuff put everything in there and you should have something like this first you install blender and after blender is installed you start downloading unity and while unity is uh, installing you can just work in blender and already work your way to Unity. Every time you want to do a new model you will start at U Blender and export it to Unity. First thing is you want to search for a model. Most people go on TV DeviantArt and there's a very popular creator that name is Sir... Oh, what was the name? Sarita Chan Yes, Sarita Chan. And you click on her profile, go on her gallery, and you just pick any of these model download series. Um, you can also just search for MMD download or you know something like that. MMD DL, MMD Miku, something like that. But we're just gonna use Sarita Chan for this video. I'm just gonna pick a basic model something like this and we're gonna I don't know what that is we're gonna download this model normally the download button is up here but in this case it's down here in the description if it's not up here and it's not in the description then you will have to find a new model or contact the creator and ask for a link to his model but I wouldn't bother like this, I would just search for another one. You download the model. Every time you download a model you want to save it in a specific folder. And that folder will be, I will show you the way I do it every time. You go into your documents right here and you create a new folder called MMD um, Blender, something like that, right? I have one right here, I did it the exact same way, and there's every single model that I worked on, or most of them. And um, what you want to do is, every time you get a new model, you create a new one, a new folder as well. So this model's name is Q, I'm just gonna use that. You can use whatever you want, the only thing that matters is that you remember what name it was. So you go into your queue folder and save it in there. It has been downloaded and you want to extract it with WinRAR. WinRAR is the most easiest I think. So just type in download WinRAR if you don't you already have it and install it and you will just easily click on it, extract here and everything will be extracted. And this is the file that we need to import into Blender, PMX. Sometimes it's called PMD or TDA, I think, but most of the time it's gonna be PMX. After you downloaded this, your Blender should be installed so far, so you're gonna open Blender. Once you're in Blender, you want to delete all the shite that is right here. So you're gonna press A once to deselect the cube, 
and you press A again to select everything and you delete it with your delete key on your keyboard and click right here on delete. Once that is done you click up here on file, user preferences, you go on add-ons and down here install add-on from file. The file that I included will uh, the file that I put in the description will include the cats plugin and that is exactly what you want to install right now. Um, if you've done it the right way like I did, just extract everything in a folder on your desktop. Then you will just have to go on your desktop, this is the desktop path, you can also click here, something like add a bookmark and then select desktop or something like that. And um, this is the folder that I created and there's cats.zip. I'm just gonna click on its install add-on from file and once you click that you type in cats up here on the left and there's this plugin you hover hover your mouse over the little square right here and you check it sometimes it takes a little while so just keep your mouse on it click once and wait a little bit until it's checked and you don't forget to click on save user settings your cats is gonna be right here and once you install your cats you want to set everything a little bit up so you can work and you literally just drag everything a bit bigger something like this you know and after everything is dragged out and set up and you're ready to work you just save your um, save the startup file so Every time you start working on Blender, it will load like this, exactly like this. You don't want to delete the cube every single time, trust me. The, and everything that we just did is first time um, set up. So you, don't, you will not have to do this every single time. Right now this will be the every time you open Blender and you start working on the model. So this is, the first step is import model. You search for the model that you downloaded and I put it under MMD Blender Q and there's the PMX you click on import any model and there he is you want to fix model this is the very first step or basically the second step and you can see it looks way better than before you rotate with your mouse um, with the middle mouse button you hover with shift and middle bu mouse button and you zoom in and out with your mouse wheel just your mouse wheel you can also hold control and press the middle mouse button to zoom in more fluid fluent and yeah that's it that, these are the basic controls step 3 would be click on model options and translate everything on the model. You can see if you open this. Actually, you cannot see. But most of the times, the, the bonds are in Japanese. Or not most of the times, but a lot of times. And the materials as well. So you're just gonna translate everything. Once you translated everything, you go on eye tracking. If your avatar doesn't have anything, um, Right here and right here you will have to fix it. On the head you put head, left eye, IL, right eye, IR. But every time you translate it should actually automatically put it in. If nothing is on a blink you will have to fix it as well. If you don't want to fix it and you don't know how to fix it, you just click on disable blinking. And if the eye movement is completely fucked then you just click on disable eye movement as well. So you just gonna have your eyes straight like this and once you're done you click on create eye tracking that is done now Visims um, this avatar has a lot of custom translated um, stuff normally they all use the same translation and the same names but this guy did everything by himself for some reason so you 
normally this is set up as well but as you can see I have to fix it right now but that's not that hard so create Visims Visims is done bound parenting you can do that too not really necessary but go ahead click on here parent bone okay once you've done that um, you're pretty much done I have to decimate this avatar still because it's over 70,000 and I'm just gonna do a cut right here and upload it as another video and you will you can click it if you want if you need it if not just continue on watching once you're done with everything and you're ready to upload don't forget to save your blender file just as a backup so if you have problems in unity later or in game you can go back to blender fix the problem and put it back into unity and uh, yeah if you don't save it you will have to work on the model completely from new so just save it you can create a new folder and um, call it blender backup something like that put it under your documents as well and I have it right here documents and you just call it whatever you want once your backup is saved you simply just click on export model this will export your file in the best settings for unity and you just save it under the same folder where your model was before you just call it either you keep the name like this q.fpx or you just type in qunity so it's easier to uh, recognize and click on export fpx once that is done you're done with blender and the next step would be unity i will part the video so people can um, you know part the work and work on it later or whatever so see you in the next part